Well, I got you to thank for this. I hope it'll teach you a lesson. Fooling around with stenographers. Now, listen, Dad. I intend to marry that girl. Yeah, I know, I know. I was going to marry a waitress once. Fortunately, my father knocked it out of me. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Kirby, I don't believe anyone has the right to interfere with young people in love. Why don't you relax? Relax? With my son practically being stolen from under my nose, me being locked up like a common criminal? Relax. You know what'll happen if the newspapers get a hold of this? It'll jeopardize the biggest deal of my career. Well, now, stop worrying. If I know my granddaughter, she isn't going to marry Tony without your blessing. So the only thing you've got to be concerned about is this big deal of yours. And what if it does fall through? What if all your deals fall through? It might be a good thing for you. Man, you're crazy. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> I used to be just like you once. And then one morning, when I was going up in the elevator, it struck me I wasn't having any fun. So I came right down, and I never went back. Yes, sir. That was 35 years ago. Admirable. And you haven't done a thing since, huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, just the things I wanted to do. I collected stamps, went to the zoo, and I got the notion. Took up the harmonica. Uh, and even found time to notice when spring came around. Now, this would be a fine country if we all spent our time in the zoo and, and played the harmonica. Well, you used to play one yourself. Tony said so. Maybe you ought to take it up again. Maybe it would stop you trying to be so desperate about making more money than you can ever use. You can't take it with you, Mr. Kirby. So what good is it? As near as I can see, the only thing you can take with you is the love of your friend. Oh, why don't you go out and get yourself a pulpit somewhere? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Which one is Vanderhoof? Right here. Hello, Mr. Vanderhoof. Remember me? Old Twitch face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I heard that you were in trouble, and I came over to see if I could help you out. Well, why should you want to help me? Well, to tell the truth, I thought that if I did you a favor, oh, why... Well, you're wasting your time, Mr. Twitch, Mr. Blakely. I've no intention of selling my home. Mm, now, we'll see how long you can hold out. Wait till a few more things happen to you. Oh, so you arranged this arrest. Yes, sir. and it's just a starter. By the time I get through, you'll be willing and glad to sell. Oh, you'll be... so you did this? Kirby. You blockhead, do you know what you've done? But, Mr. Kirby, I, uh, I never dreamed that you knew these people. I, uh, I told you the police were on that trail, and you told me to go ahead and make them sell. You blithering idiot, get out! And if you get an ounce of sense left, you'll dig up my attorneys. I've been here for hours. Uh, yes, sir, I, I'll phone them all. 